Kelvin, we're going to finish what we started. That's right. Let's go. What's up, guys and gals? Welcome to the Outer Middle Show. Mad Vlad is the name. And Sons of the Force is the game. And in today's episode, we're pushing on with this hard survival series. It's hard, okay? We're already having a lot of trouble with it. It's raining. Not a good start to an episode. But, been reading the comment section. You guys had a lot of great ideas about where to build a shelter. I think building on the island would be the sissiest way to go about this gameplay. So I figured I'd outdo you guys and go even sissier. We're going to build over by the old Kelvin's Reach. We're going to finish what we started, but there's a reason for that. We're going to build in a slightly different location. It's going to be right above the cave to the mall. The quote-unquote mall. That's what I call it. It's actually like a uh, center for fitness and relaxation for old folks <laughs> or young folks. I don't know. But the sole purpose of building over there is the 3D printer. It is extremely vital. Supplies are extremely vital. Are extremely vital. And we need as many as we can get during this playthrough because it's hard. That's exactly what we're going to do. I think I... Okay. Yeah, whatever. We're going to have to build a bow. Have to make some arrows. That's another reason why we need the 3D printer. We do not have anything modern except for this axe. And it's time. It's time to shine. It's time to show what I can really do. Let's pull out the map. Where the hell are we? I'm going in a radical direction. Which means the wrong direction. Let's zoom out. No, we're going the right way. It's just a long walk. Kelvin's reaches at the north facing stream as you can see on the map further stream north that shoots at a horizontal position where the green dot is it's pretty close to that as a matter of fact I think that's a point of interest as well that's exactly where we're going and the laptop that we uncovered in the rebreather cave which we do not have the armor we've got the skill we just don't have the supplies to make it through that cave just yet. So we're going to go to the green dot, which is what the laptop in that cave unfolded. Where's Kelvin? Why is Kelvin stuck all the way back there? Look, I'm not losing Kelvin. No, he's moving. Okay. He's with us. All right. Let's hope we don't run into any adversity on our trips in this gameplay episode. I would like to find a Night V. Haven't seen one yet. Or Night 5, whatever it's called. And make our travels a little bit easier. But right now, taking the Shoelace Express. Oh my god, you stupid, stupid, muddy shitbag. Damn, you. Okay, get me the hell out of here. There's like 14 of them. And we've run across a cannibal camp here. Oh, God. And it's loaded. Tis loaded. Let's see if we can walk the perimeter. Let's get our stamina back. We need to eat and drink and do all that fun stuff before we make it to our location. Oh, God. Yeah, that's that's too much. We'll pass on that one. I think we're being followed by muds. Mudsters. By muds. <laughs> the mud people. Ooh. I want to utilize herbs and spices in this playthrough. We didn't do much of that in the last uh, series that we did. I want to get familiar with it. I want to learn its secrets. There we go. I th did I eat that? No, I don't think I did. Still being followed. It's okay. Because it's raining, our sound has been dampened. Get it? Damn. Boy, I'll tell you what, man. This game has a lot of real estate. That's one of the biggest complaints about this game is that it's too big. I don't think it's too big. I think it's perfect for expansion. I mean, how do you think the real world is? You think everything's conveniently placed? No. It's a big world out there. That's why I like this map. It's real, okay? It's realer than the last forest. 
too many damn complaints about this game. This game is amazing. I don't care what anybody says. You're not going to sway me. Okay, got us some water right here. At least we can quench our belly buttons. Let's do it. Let's drink about 15 times. Okay. A lot of people have pointed out things that I've missed. I'm not perfect. All right. I'm not perfect. Oh, there's a cannibal. Oh, God. No. They've got a radio. They tried to trick me. That's a cannibal camp. Oh, God. I think we should try to take him. Let's try to sneak up on him. Oh, God. We're screwed. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh my god. This is dangerous. Uh, skin pouch collected. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Getting the hell out of here. I just chopped off that cannibal head. Let's hope his friends didn't hear. That's all I hope for. Let's walk backwards. We're good. We're okay. The rain stopped. Beautiful forest is emerging. I really want a night five. We need us a Segway. Unicycle. Now I thought about this offline. I'm not going to build directly over the cave that leads into the fitness center. What I am going to do is build extremely close to it. And Kelvin's going to help me. If Kelvin is still moving, that is. Yes, he's still moving think yeah he's still moving and we've got to get Virginia on our team Virginia seems to be down south or is it north no it's up north she seems to be up there by the beach and we'll get her at some point all right this is the old Kelvin's reach right here now we're not we're definitely not going into the fitness center we're just going to utilize the printer for now. Man, this is a very awkward place to build, but we're not doing a big build. I'm going to construct like some nice, nice small bases that we can put throughout the map. You know, just places we can hang our hat for the night. Gather up on supplies. We may build multiples. I don't know yet. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. And here we are. There's aloe. Grab that. All right. Here we are. Let's go in. All right. It's nice and quiet down here. I like that. Let's get some supplies. There's the printer. Let's go ahead and fill it full. What the hell just happened? Oh, okay. Got 950 mils. Tim LeBlanc parallel universe and travel between them interesting good old Tim LeBlanc a real man real man nice book it's really thick okay let's gather up we need that crossbow we need it bad a lot of stuff down here batteries There was literally nothing in that. That's fantastic. Okay. I think we're going to need arrows more than anything. Let's see what else they got. A flask. We will need a flask. Let's go ahead and do one of those. Who needs a who needs a base when you have a cave? It's impenetrable. Maybe we'll, we'll do no bases. This will be my base. There we go. I wonder if we can build down here. That would be interesting. That would be our safest bet. Save the game. Yeah, I mean, it's got a bed already. What is this? That's a very crazy picture. Nice. Looks like it's AI generated. Let's see what else I got. A mask. I would like to utilize masks as well, but it only works on certain tribes. Grappling hooks. 
We'll definitely need these. Tech mesh, sled. All right, arrow time. All right, that's all we can carry. Let's see what we can gather down here. Now there are some puffies down here, which I'm not gonna mess with. Put our map away. We're gonna have to also build a bow. And rope. There we go. Got us a bow. There we go. There's our printed arrows. See how well they shoot. Not bad. There's some supplies in here. Not opening that door. As a matter of fact, I don't think I can open that door yet. No, I can't. Okay, we need the key card. Right. Okay. It's okay. We don't need it anyway. Also, I do think when you open that door, that's what lets the puffies out into the world through this cave system. I think. But now we have a bow. Honestly, we don't really need a base. And I'm going to use my lighter for caves like this. There's no point in wasting batteries. But what we do need, actually, is we need bones. So we do need to kill stuff because we need bone armor. I'm not going down in the cave without bone armor. Could use tech mesh, but that requires a lot of supplies. Hmm. How am I going to go about constructing this? I'll probably clear out this area of the trees. Kind of make a bald spot. And I've, we've got everything we need here. We've got rocks. We've got a 3D printer. We've got water right there. It's on a weird terrain. Here comes Kelvin. But... I think we can make it work. Let's get to chopping. I'm going to clear out this area. Matter of fact, what am I doing? I'm not used to Kelvin. Come here, Kelvin. Need your help. Follow me. Okay, come on. Hurry up. Hey. Stop. Clear 20 meters. There you go, buddy. Get to work. And away he goes. It's nice having Kelvin. I'll help you. Another thing, too, is all the trees fall into the creek. That's nice. Uh-oh. 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 Okay, it looks like we've got one cannibal. Let's take care of him. There's two cannibals. Not, not good. Not good. Two cannibals. I need their heads as an intimidation factor. I'll tell you what. Let's pull out our bow. Hit the tree. Are you serious? Headshot. Headshots are still a thing. Thank God. Damn it. It's hard to aim with this. That's two dead. Okay, not bad, not bad. I'm going to take their bodies. Chuck them in the hole. There we go. All right. That that wasn't as bad as I thought. This, uh, this bow's not bad for close range. Okay, let's get back to work. And there goes the rain again. Okay, we need to utilize this wood as much as possible because wood does despawn after a certain amount. So, I gotta think about how I'm gonna go about doing this. I might build up on this hill. Might build on this hill. I'm gonna cut up these stumps. Oh, oh, there she is. Put it down. Okay. Working on the foundation of my base. I think I'm building it a little bit too big. Put that away, you dummy. Stupid. Come on, man. Now she's going to run away. 
There she goes. She's dancing again. I'm just not going to move. All right. Come on, Virginia. I need you on my side. I'll give you my pistol. Here she comes. I'm just going to back step away from her. Just let her do her thing. Sun's going down, but it's okay. We have a bed. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be a good one. Okay. She's moseying off. I'm not going to bother her. I'm going to jump in here and go to sleep real quick. Damn it, those bodies despawned. I didn't get to them fast enough. Damn it. It's another thing about this game that I would change. Got a box of cereal. That's all we have to eat. Which is not good at all. We've got a can of cat food, so we need to start hunting. Need to start getting that meat. I haven't seen any animals over here, which is strange. This might not be a good spot for animals. Top of the morning. Let's get this foundation done. Kelvin, dude. Oh, my God. Okay. There's our tiny foundation. Not too shabby. Right where we need it to be. Uh-uh. Hell no. Nah. You better get up and do something. Give me some rocks. And drop here. There you go, buddy. I, I, I get rocks and stones confused. Yeah, no. We need stones. There you go, buddy. Sorry. Got it mixed up. You're picking up the heavy stuff, bro. He's always so happy. That's what I like about Kelvin. What I might have to do is start eating muddies. I don't want to, but I fear I might have to. It's okay, dude. I got him handled. Definitely not something I want to do. Nice dodge. Okay. There we go. Okay. Well, <laughs> this, like I said, this is not something I ever wanted to do. And I got to make sure I get all my arrows back. We're going to have to resort to eating muddies. What do you see? What do you see, Kel? It's just a muddy, man. Run. <laughs> get out of here. Didn't work out for you, did it? Okay, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm not proud of this. But hard survival is hard survival. Looks like we're being surrounded by muddies. They are not happy with me. It's all right, Kelv, man. Keep doing what you're doing. I think he lost track of what he was doing. Oh, crap. Ooh, he had a skin pouch. I think Kelvin can also get our arrows back, so that's good. And it's my meal! Boy, the muddies are being very aggravating. More aggravating than before. Alright, let me put a little fire on this rock. Look at Kelvin. What a beast. Oh, God. Right in the face. Right in the face. Another skin sack pouch. We need that. Yeah, we are really hungry. Cooking up some legs. And at the same time, we'll get bones. Oh, God. Here comes another one. 
Oh, right over his head. Oh my god, this thing fires so wild. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> we need a drink. We are, we are getting bombarded right now. I'm gonna die. I need to drink and eat. And our fire's gone. That's fantastic. Okay, that made us sick. Never eat muddies again. I'm so paranoid right now. We don't have a can opener either. Oh my god. Bruh. Hey, 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 hey. Get my arrows. Drop here. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, okay. So we ate an arm. That actually did us pretty damn good. Tastes kind of like bacon. Not too bad. Can't believe we're resorting to that. And it's raining like crazy. Gonna have to pop some pills. So we're getting attacked like every two seconds. It's nice out here. The weather's great. I'm having a fun time. Fun time. There's just, there's, dude, there's muddies all over the place. I can't wait to get my katana. How'd that feel? That's right. Oh, crap. Another one down. Okay. Where are my arrows, Kelv? I'm going to have to have Kelv start dropping stuff on top of this platform. Here we go. Thank you, Kelv. Thank you, man. Thank you, brother. You just dropped that one through the world, so I don't, I don't know how useful that was, but thanks anyway. All right, Kelv, we need to clear out this area. Come here. That, no, 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 no. Follow me. Come on. I want you to chop. Oh, damn it, that was a rabbit. Chop uphill. Ah! Clear 20 meters. Make sure all those logs roll downhill. And don't knock down my base. Okay, so she's she's wandering around. Does she have an offering or did she take something? I don't know. All right. We are hungry again. That's not smart, Kelvin. Don't stand in the fire. It's raining again. All right, I'm going to let him rest. He's earned it. Yes. Yes. Oh, there she is. There she is. All right, so... I'm going to stand still, let her do her thing. If she starts dancing and approaching me, I'm going to back up, even though I want to walk forward. And she's walking off. Just leave her alone for now. I'm going to keep the weapons out of my hands. We need to go to sleep. Man, and we've got food too, so... Oh, God. Kelvin? I swear... Okay, now we've got us a spot to build a fire. A good fire. There we go. 
Wow, dude. I screwed that up. Squirrel. I just nailed a squirrel. All right, let's see how much this gives us. There we go. It's a lot better. Hoo wee, this is tough. We need some fish. We need to take Kelvin down to the river. Get us some fish. Tell you what else I'm going to do. First of all, let me get rid of this support beam. There we go. I'm going to build me a fireplace. Where's Kelvin? Oh, there's another rabbit. There's another rabbit. Shh. Shut up. Shut your mouth. Lost it. We need some rabbit traps. There we go. There's one. Okay, there's two. What well, Kevin's doing a great job. All right. Good job, buddy. Hell yeah. Ooh, fish. Fish. Get fish and drop here. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Let's see what he does. And we're getting thirsty, too. We need to drink. Hell yeah. He can get fish from the stream. All right. While he's doing that, we're going to try to finish our base. All right, now. You're making a little bit too much noise. I just lost literally like all my arrows trying to hit that thing. Starting to feel a little bit more comfortable out here. Oh. <laughs> you cannot escape. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, I hit it. <laughs> we got food now. We're living good now. After we get everything established, the next step is bone armor. Where are you dropping those fish, man? He caught some fish. Where the hell did he drop them? There they are. Oh, we got food, baby. I need to get this built. It's going to take a while. Here we go. We've got some rocks down here that he collected earlier. We made a wall out of it. Let's use from the wall. And we can carry three. I didn't know that. How can we carry three boulders? Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Kelvin's killing it. He's absolutely killing it. We're going to have us a nice meal. Hell yeah. Let's eat up. Kelvin, you're the best, man. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to celebrate. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not going to celebrate yet. All right, Kel. Hey. Hey. Did we catch something? Yeah, we did. Things are getting easier. All right. Traps are working. Everything's working. I need you to get as many rocks as you can, and after this, you're going to take a nice long break, Kel. I promise. And we don't have skulls yet. We need a log cart. We need the forest grocery cart. That's what we need. Thank you, sir. Hey, man. <laughs> Quit being weird. There we go. Our roof is finished. Let's start putting in the walls. I wish we could, like, whistle for Kelvin. I think that would be dope. Instead of having to find him, you just whistle for him. That would be kind of degrading, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay. I need some heads. Got 
God, these muddies. They're so hard to hit. Ridiculous, dude. Got away with one of my arrows. It's hard to get a headshot on the muddies, too, because they move so fast. Okay, let's pull out the big book of fun adventure. Rabbit just, you know, casually walking up on us. That's fantastic. All right. Let's see if we can get one of these built. That is a lot of sticks. A good method with Kelvin is whatever he's gathering, you help him gather. And it also depends on, you know, how much you need of that resource. Anytime I tell Kelvin to get something, I usually help him. And then when I get tired of doing all the running, his pile is usually full of crap. And then we finish the job. Kelvin is a huge, huge help. I regret losing him through the last playthrough, but I feel as though it helped me learn the game a lot better. Thank you, Kelv. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, brother. Look at all them arrows. All right, buddy. It's almost break time. Just chill out, bro. Almost done with our fireplace. Okay, bam, time to build a fireplace. This will make the fire last a nice long time. Get us some firewood, no need for stones. There we go. This is where we're gonna cook our food and also burn our cantaboots for the bone armor. I just needed something more feng shui for the occasion. So it looks like an eagle just flew in my house and stole one of my fish. That was fantastic. What did I just hear? I'm getting the hell out of here. We got to sleep anyway. Oh, it's a muddy. Man, where's Kelvin? He's still gathering rocks. Oh, my God. Kelvin. Dude. Okay, we got to do something with them rocks. All right, bro, that's enough. That, that's enough. Stop. Get sticks and give to me. See that, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Dude. He's crazy. Dude, thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Drop, thank you, yeah, drop those. Um, do me a favor, pull out your bow. Shit. It's one down. Oh my God, well, looks, we got some bones about to happen up in this piece, bruh. Oh God, here comes Virginia, perfect. You're ruining it for me. Right past his head. Shoulder piece, stomach piece, head piece. This thing flings arrows in the weirdest ways. Big, that was a bad move, bro. Bad move. Ow. Okay. All right. Let's put those up. Put those up. Yeah, why are you... Okay, all right. I think we're good. I think we are good. They were both pointing at him. We got a lot of bodies to work with now. I think I've already got two skulls. Yeah, got enough skulls for the log cart, so we don't need skulls. We don't need to eat them anymore. So now, we can just burn them. Go ahead and stack them right there. Got to make sure I get my arrows back from that little encounter. Just glad there's no, uh, no big dudes. Okay, now we got muddies with the armor on. That's that's not a good sign. The muddies are getting braver. I'm going to attempt to scare them off. I don't know where they're getting this armor from. God, Kelvin. Kelvin. Now I've got too many damn bones. Oh, that is a lot of bones. 
Come on, Calvin. I need those sticks. Dude, come. I'm going to lose all these damn bones. Come on, Calvin. Come on. Oh, oh I need one more tape. <laughs> need one more tape. All right, bone storage. All right, Calvin. I need you, bro. A lot of bones here. Give them to me. Give them to me. Thank you, sir. There we go. Okay. I got them all. Ho, ho, ho. There we go. We got one full bone crate. I really need to utilize those skulls. Kelvin's still just getting the sticks. We needed one roll of tape, dude, and it's raining again. One roll of tape. Let's pull out our map. We're still not finished with the walls. I don't think we're close to a camp. Okay, Kelvin, man. That That's enough. Hey. Hey. Clear 20 meters. There you go. All right. I got to get my health back up. It's pretty stupid taking pills, but I'm pretty stupid. I'll tell you what. Let's see. Where can he clear 20 meters? Hey, man. Follow me. Clear 20 meters. Do it right here. Yeah, get to work. So all we need is one roll of damn tape. Oh, shit. Yes, approach me. We, we need her so bad. I'm literally just going to back the hell up. Ah! You got to get her walking towards you, and then you just slowly back up. He just... He just literally chopped a tree down on my head. Thanks, Kel. We need to roll a tape, man. That's all there is to it. I've got to finish the log cart. This is going a little bit too slow. And I need extra storage. While he's working, I know there's a camp somewhere close to here. I think it's actually right up here. Oh my god. Yep, there is a camp right here. And look what I found. A Segway. Yes. Okay. Put the map up. What is this? Something about the golf balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Got a can opener, baby. And got a pot. Come on. Give me tape. Give me tape. Come on. Tape, tape, tape. Yes. 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 We have hit a gold mine. Excuse me, sir. That was not smart. God, they're so hard to hit. Anyway, I think we tapped this place. Let's grab our Segway. Get the hell out of here. Oh, yes. This is going to make everything so much easier. And this leads right down to our base. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, we got her. We got her. Oh, thank God. Okay. Uh, you're going to have to walk away because I can see straight through your shirt and YouTube does not allow that. You're going to have to step away. She's ours now. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. That was just a streak of luck right there. She scared the crap out of me, but now she's ours. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Hey, hey, Virginia, turn around, turn around. Take this. That's yours. I don't have any clothes for you. I am going to put a tracking device on you, though, if you don't mind. There we go. All right. There you go, baby. There you go. Going to have to blur that out. Anyway. <laughs> we got us a car. <laughs> we did it. Okay. Things are going great. We got protection. We got Kelvin. Our place is almost done. We got a Segway. We got the Super Lawn Mower slash Sons of the Forest shopping cart. Perfect. Let's go get some logs. Good work, Kel. Good work, buddy. He really is the man. He does make it. A lot more bearable out here. 
Uh oh, what you got? What you got for me? Aloe? I'll take it. Okay, you need to go away. You're still wet. Come on. Go away. Thank you. Or at least turn around. Gee whiz. She's got a nice sheen to her. It looks like we're getting a little hungry, too. Okay, man. Time to eat. Okay, we're kind of low on food. We need to get our game up, bruh. I just hope an eagle doesn't swoop down and take my meal. All right. I'm going to get Kel to go fishing for me. There's a rabbit. Oh. Got one. I'm out of arrows completely. Okay, that should tide us over. We'll get more arrows when we go back down in the cave, or we'll get Kelvin to gather up the ones that are just, you know. There you go. Yeah, you relax. You just relax. I don't know why you're on the outside of the fire, but, you know, I won't ask questions. Good job, Kelvin. Good job, buddy. Okay. I need you to get some more stones. Shoot them. You have a gun. Shoot them. And it's raining again. It's okay. God, I got to stay away from you now. It's raining. That did that. Okay. We've got to go to sleep. So far, so good. We're kicking arse. Top of the morning. We got to get our bellies full. Got to drink some water. I know, man. Chill out. One of our traps went off, hopefully. If there's no food. Those traps have not worked for the longest time. We have one arrow. I'm going to have to get Kelvin to look for my damn arrows. I don't think arrows ever disappear. I'm not sure. Our base is done. We got to knock out our windows. All right, bro. That's enough. Hey. Hey. Here you go, buddy. Find my arrows. We're going to have to resort to cat food. I haven't tested this either. I want to see how much this gives us. Eh. It'll tide us over. Let's get this door built. Looking nice. Yeah, I built it backwards. That's fantastic. There we go. Okay. Now we got us a door. Building us a little ramp. Just to make it easier to get in and out, you know. Just like that. Why are you resting, dude? And why does that look weird? Oh, okay. Anyway, we need a lock. Hey, man, I'm, I'm assuming he found all my arrows. Yeah, there's no more arrows in the area. You know what? Screw the arrows, dude. Oh, he found... Oh, no, he's getting sticks. Hey. Hey. Oh, well, I'll let him get his sticks. What the hell? It's not letting me build a rock wall. I think we've got this side. Yeah, we got it too close. Hang on. Let's test it. We did. No. No. Now what? Now there's literally nothing I can do right here. Well, oh well. Guess I'll have to extend the base. The fireplace is something you cannot move, unfortunately. Where'd Kelvin go? Damn it. Hey, drop. Hey, drop the sticks. Need you to get fish and give to me. I know, bro. I know you haven't had a break. It's coming, though. I promise. Go get some fish. Don't back talk me. While he's getting fish, let's knock out some windows. Now, we don't want windows big enough to where they can jump through. We just want to be able to see. Just like that. Thank you, sir. Now, I'm wondering, too, if meat gives us health back. I don't know. Let's pay attention to that. Probably not, though. Let's watch our health. 
It it did. It gave us some health back. All right. Okay. Now we got little viewing slits where we can see everything. Cannibals can't get in. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Thank you, Kel. Keep getting those fish, though. I think I know what I'm going to do here. <sighs> I'm going to attempt to fix it. She hasn't popped one cap off. You need to stay away from me. You're wet. <laughs> that didn't sound right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Keep keep going. Of course. Of course. Yep. Uh, it, it always happens to every single base that I get. Thank you, Kel. Keep fishing, though. Okay, that actually worked. Oh, God. Uh, Virginia? Virginia? One down. That was the coolest slide move I've ever... I'm going to die. Where's Virginia? Oh, my God. Another down. I'm out of arrows. I am out of arrows. Where's Virginia? Virginia, I need you. Virginia. She's nowhere to be found. Popping pills. Popping a drink. Eating a candy bar. Where is Virginia? Pulling out my map and my axe. There's Kelvin. I don't see Virginia. And they're in my base. There she goes. There she goes. She's inside here. Good shoot. I got to stay away from you. You're wet. Thanks, Kelv. I think the other one ran off. Yeah, we need more arrows. That is for sure. Okay. God, get away from me. We are all out of pills. That's not good. Ooh, it got quiet. All right. Let's make some more arrows. Fantastic. It's not letting me grab them. I think the game's glitched out. There we go. I fixed it. The game was glitched out. I had to reset it. Did anything respawn back? Yes. And I keep forgetting we've got solar panels as well. There we go. Yeah, that was strange. That's the first time it's glitched out on me like that. All right. Back in the game, baby. We got tons of fish now, <laughs> thanks to Kelvin. Yeah, when you have enemies face you, and you have no arrows, and there's some more. More enemies. But now we have arrows. Yeah, buddy. Dead eye. Uh, we, we've got those pouches, too. We need to remember to, uh, yeah, get those. Let's take his body. We can't waste any resources. We're going to throw him in the holy fireplace. Okay, he's cooking. I don't know why Kelvin's resting in the sun. Getting a tan there, buddy? I didn't say you could rest. Hey. Get up. Follow me, bro. Come on. Get these fish, and I want you to give them to me. I don't know why you stopped. We're going to die out here because of you. Okay, we've got our bones. We're going to fill up our log cart with them. And now we are going to pursue some rocks. I want to see if I can do that corner thing like I did in the last series. That was pretty dope. And I want that pouch. Let's open some of them. I totally forgot about these pouches, man. There was tape in that pouch. Oh my god, look at this. Not bad. There we go. That was a lot. Let's grab this pouch. We'll open that later. And I'm assuming all of our logs are gone. Yes, they are. Like that. Oh, shit. We're full on fish. Okay. Let's get this full for the first time in this damn game. Th th thank you, Kel. Thank you. Hey, in knife. Can you chill out with the rain? I think a lot of people would agree that the rain is a bit much. It literally rains like three times a day. All right. So I got to figure out how the hell I did this before. And I don't know if it's going to work without a foundation in between these. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to work. No. How did I do that? Thanks, Kel. 
<laughs> it's there's always some kind of flaw. I guess we're not going to be able to do it. Shit. Yeah. That's not going down. Okay, Kelvin, that's enough fish. Hey, man. Follow me. I got something for you. No, it's not a break. Well, Virginia, she's she's a woman. We got to protect her, man. We're supposed to provide for her and not the other way around. So quit your moaning. And just for that, clear 20 meters. Oh, my God. That's a big guy. I'm sorry, Kelvin. This dude has taken a lot of arrows. He looks like a porcupine. I think he's finally dead. Okay. Sorry, Kelvin. I got you, buddy. No, you still can't have a break, okay? And this is for complaining. I w if it was, there was a 50-meter option, I would make you do 50 meters for complaining about getting hit. You're fine. Got another skin sack pouch. Sun's going down again, man. Today went by so fast. All right, man. Let's go to sleep. Up here is where we're going to put a lot of traps. Just in case anybody tries to get in my base. I think I cooked like three fish and didn't eat them. I did. I cooked three fish and forgot to eat them. <laughs> Oh, well. Easy come, easy go. Kelvin's the one that fetched him anyway. <laughs> Chill out, man. Okay, let's feast. You know what? I'm going to top it off with a canty barts. Mmm, chocolatey goodness. There we go. Almost full stats. Why, what? What's wrong? Why is she running? What's wrong? Why are you scared? You're beautiful, you know that? So beautiful. I think she just killed a rabbit for us. <laughs> she stomped on something. Okay, traps. I guess I'm just going to do the regular old fly swatter traps. There we go. That should be enough. There's one. We've got plenty, plenty of sticks. But we're out of rope. So that might take us a while to get built. But at least we've got one. So far, it's looking great. Everything is nice and snazzy. I just turned this into a door. Just because, you know. Why not? Yes, enemies can get in, but... Oh well. We'll set up something around here. Like some traps. And we'll make it work. I also think I know... Yes. That's how I did it. Alright. Sweet. Oh, it's raining again. Got the best idea. I just had the best idea. Don't copy me, by the way. These are my builds. That's very strange that I can't put a log right there. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And then for the sides, we'll work with the apexes. Okay. Made that into a door. Looks nice. Yeah, the apexes aren't working. Yeah, that looks like ass. Well, no apexes. Okay, I replaced this door with a wall because I kind of don't see the point. But here it is. I tried to do two rock walls to protect the fireplace. Didn't work out. Turned it into a door. Looks pretty good. It's a better entry point to our base anyway. Now, this was a simple design. And it's not completely done yet. This took a long time just to get this little bit done. But that's how Sons of the Forest was made. It's a lot harder than the original forest to build. And uh, this is where we're going to harvest bones. We're going to get our traps built, which means we have to move around and find rope. We are in a safe spot. We've got water. We've got food. We've got a sleeping point where we can actually sleep no matter what's going on. Well, it looks like we got some guys jumping around up here. And we've got a 3D printer. I don't think it gets better than this. Oh, God. There's multiples. Now we need a lot of bones. Okay, go ahead. There you go. I bet you... Oh, God, there's more. There's four of them. Be careful. Be careful, careful. Missed. Duh. 
Oh god, he's got a helmet. You ran up on me, sir. Survival of the fittest, sorry. Can I have my arrow back? Thank you, sir. Okay, that's two dead. We're going to have a lot more bones to harvest. Okay, he's running. We need to put up some effigies. This dude has no armor. Did that arrow bounce off his forehead? Boy, Kelvin's... <laughs> Kelvin's booking it. He don't have a helmet. Ah! God, man, this... This shit. I'm about to just shoot him in his butt cheek. There. Shot to the leg. Good God. I'm going to start shooting him in the knee. Sir, don't beg for mercy after attacking me. Okay? All right. All right. Got some stuff. Got some bones. Let's pack the bodies in. Kelvin was hauling ass. That was hilarious. We killed four dudes. I'm impressed with myself. Virginia was nowhere to be seen. She usually never is. Where the hell's Kelvin going? I think he went right back to work. He did. He went right back to work. I'll tell you what, man. I'm impressed with Kelvin. Extremely impressed. Yeah, this base will be much more effective. Once we get the traps built, they always like to run on my roof. I just killed a bird. There's no point in building arrows when we have the 3D printed ones. Oh, these things work just fine. And now we have the night V, so we can get around town a lot quicker. Okay. Who's up for a weenie roast? Down in the comment section, let me know. Do you like yours burnt? <laughs> It's really hard to pile these bodies up next to this fireplace. <laughs> hey, get warm, fellas. Don't get too close. There we go. <laughs> I love this view. It's a beautiful view of the stream and the forest. Looks nice. And it's not raining or windstorming. I wish the devs would fix that. I really do. There was no point in cutting windows back here because, you know, ramps and stuff. All right. I really need to do something with these skulls. I hate wasting them. And I'll tell you what. Let's put that away. We've got a lot of solar panels. There we go. We'll put another solar panel right here. And we'll put some lights all around the base. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's a big dude out here. Big dude. Right in his belly button. <laughs> oh, what is he doing? Right in your back. Right in your kidney. Your other kidney. Your spine. Your arm. You dead now? Gee whiz. I don't know if we can pick the big dudes up. Yeah, we definitely cannot. They're too heavy. Looks like he got his nose chopped off. Sir, can you get out of my wall? Let's see what goodies we got in the skin sack pouches. Hey, guess what? It's raining again. There we go. There's one. Need more sticks for that one. Dude's still stuck in my wall. I'm trying to help you, sir. It's not working. Man, there's a lot of rain, dude. So much rain in this episode. Oh, man. And we need one rope per bone armor. That's not good. And then one tape. Dang. Man, this stuff's expensive. Then we're going to need a mannequin to put it all on. To save up. Okay. We've got nine bone armor. And I'm going to save this stuff up. Looks like the sun's going down again. Let's build a mannequin. 20 sticks and some tape. All right. It finally stopped raining. I don't know how Kelvin feels about me right now, but he's taking a break up at this camp. I think he's a little tired of work, and we've been a little bit too rough on him. Sun's going down. Let's get up here before the sun goes down. See if we can get him to follow us. We've been we've been mean to him. He's worked his ass off. Oh, now he's back down there. Okay, never mind. Just for that, he's going to clear another 20 meters. Kelvin, dude. 
What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Bro, come on. Follow me. Look, buddy. Take a break. Okay? Take you a break. I'll light you a fire. I ate all the food. Sorry. You can eat tomorrow. God! It got really dark. All right. Time to save it, baby. I think we've done good. Nothing like crawling into a cave to sleep and then coming out at daylight. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and drink and eat real quick. Now, remember, nothing is going to be done offline. So there, I'm not going to get offline and build or do anything like that. Hey, Kelvin, you feel better, man? Go get us breakfast, man. I'm over dying. Okay? Yeah. Get some breakfast. Again, I'm not going to be doing anything offline. Like, not a single thing. I'm going to build some fish traps down in the streams. Next episode, we're going to finish this mannequin. We're going to completely stock this mannequin up with bone armor so that we have reserves. We're not going down into any cave without a full bodysuit of bone armor and a full reserve of bone armor. We're going to attempt to beat this without dying. We're not doing the 100-day survival series yet. I want to let it update a lot more before we do that. Right now, we're just beating the game without dying. And then, maybe after that, we may start a brand new series and do a 100-day survival. I may bring people in for that series. I'm not sure. But I just want the game to update a little bit more. All right, Kelv. Come on, man. You're being too slow. Yeah, you didn't want to give it up. I know. You're hungry. But I'm hungrier. Okay? I'm doing most of the work here. Oh, God. I got to eat first. I got to eat first. I got to eat first. Come on. Something's out there. Was it just muddies? I think, yeah, it's just muddies. Okay. No big deal. I'm going to have to put some effigies up too. I don't even like killing muddies. They're not even worth it. Where's Virginia? And they're so annoying. You know what? I'm not wasting any more arrows on these dudes. It's going to be hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah, get close to me. Come on. Muddies my ass. More like shitties. I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. Time to take some pills. Yeah, the muddies are very strong. I just wasted two bottles of pills. Wow. That's fantastic. Okay, no more of that. No more hand-to-hand -hand combat unless I've got the, uh, you know, the katana. Where'd they go? Yeah, that sucked. The great thing about being up here is having traps. Oh, now she comes. Because deer usually set off all the traps, and now that small animals don't set off the traps, it's going to be a lot better utilizing stuff out here. Yeah, you're late, and you got dookie on your legs. I almost got killed by a muddy. That's my reality. And I would have wasted so much bone armor fighting that thing, I'm glad I didn't have any on. Oh, got us some fish, Kelvin, finally. Keep going. And it's raining again. In night. I beg you, please. It's just by like 50%. The rain is so annoying. One thing I am going to build real quick, just so that we can have a quick save, is a hunting shelter. Just something quick. There we go. Reset this trap. Saving the game. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We got ourselves a little survival hut. We're well on our way to getting down in that cave. I just needed to establish my spot somewhere where we could gather resources and spend a little quality time together. Thank you, Kelvin. But all in all, I know this is going to be a long playthrough. Oh, my God. They just won't let up. Uh, where is... Oh, there's one on the rock. Where is Virginia? When I need her, she's never around. Ever. Okay see here and missed my first shot that's fantastic okay oh my god I'm gonna die just all there is to it I don't think I've got enough arrows to handle this big dude I'm just gonna put him right in his chest piece Bro, this is ridiculous. I knew I had to take him out first. Get my arrows back. 
take out the rest of them. Where'd they go? I think they're literally inside my base. They're in my base. Oh my, they're inside my base. No, they're not. Where the hell are they? They're inside my door. Yeah, maybe I do need a second way in. There you go, right in your back piece. Bastard. Ugh. Okay, we'll have to repair that. Put that down. Hey, now, now you show up. That's fantastic. I have no rope to make a repair tool. Thank you. Thank you. So Get away from me. You're wet. Damn it. Damn it. Dirty bastards. Oh, well. There it is. Hope you guys have fun. Stay away. If you want to support this crazy thing I call the Outer Middle Show, check out my Patreon. And uh, if you want a band gameplay series, videos that I cannot put on YouTube, check out the Utreon or Player. Link is down in the description. It's for the $10 tiers and up. And all my socials are down in the description as well. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. And remember, never stop surviving. Because if you do, you're dead. Like him. Peace out.